coming up on Dream Room in a Day. Come on in. Let's do it. A family's neglected basement gets transformed into a slick screening room perfect for date night dinner. Oh my rainbows! <laughs> oh my rainbows! <laughs> Have you ever had big DIY dreams for your home but thought, it's too complicated or there's just not enough time? I'm Philip. Most of the world knows me as DIY influencer, Philip or Flan. Nailed it. I'm an engineer, a busy dad, and I've tackled pretty much every DIY you can think of through good old trial and error. I've been transforming my own home for 15 years through approachable and show-stopping room makeovers. And now I'm here to help you. Each episode, one lucky family gets in the DIY driver's seat with a little help from me to make a big idea turn into a reality. Come on in. Oh my wow. God! <laughs> what? This is incredible. With the right tools, you can make your home incredible. This is Dream Room in a Day. I'm a busy guy, but I love to come together with my family. We love to eat dinner together, play in the backyard, and use our new screen and porch, and we have a family movie night almost every Friday night. The Taylor family is so cute. They have three young kids that keep them really busy. When they put them down for the evening, Brian and Carolina love to have a spot where they can go and just hang out and watch movies together. Hi, I'm Carolina. And I'm Brian. We're the Taylors. We're the <laughs> I'm actually from Brazil and Brian's been here pretty much his whole life. Now we live in Wake Forest, North Carolina. We have three kids. Blair is four. We have John, he's two. And Noah is almost seven months old. In our first house together, when we had Blair, we painted her nursery. We put some wallpaper on the walls and we've done a couple of things together. <laughs> In our basement, uh, we call it the TV room. It's a room that literally has a TV in it and not much else. <laughs> we, we use it now if we want to watch something a little bit louder with, with the three little kids. We, we don't want to disrupt their sleep because uh, that's, that's always terrible when you wake up sleeping toddlers <laughs> and babies. It's a mostly dark room. There's no windows there. So uh, I like not having to adjust my seat to avoid the sun, to avoid glare. We feel like we're, we're off somewhere else even though we're still in our house. The furniture that's there right now is all hand-me-down, so we're ready for it to look more like our style. We don't like the color that's on the walls right now. That was the color that was here already when we moved in. We, we know how to do things, but if we want it done well, we, we tend to... <laughs> need some help. <laughs> need some help. <laughs> Basements are some of my favorite spaces because they're usually a blank slate. Today we're here at the Taylors. They have three young kids using a basement room as a TV room, and I think it's time we give them a dream room update. Hey, hey guys. Hi, how are you doing? Taylor. Good, how are you doing? Hey, Brian. Hi. Hey, Carolina. Hi. Good Hi. to see you. You too. What's your name? Blair. Blair. Are you ready for a room makeover? Come on in. Let's do it. Let's go Let's show Philip where to go. What do you do in this space? Do you watch TV? Yeah. Yeah. Green room. Wow, the green room. Wow, this is quite green, isn't it? Oh yeah. Well, this is awesome. So it's pretty bare in here. It looks like had been some things taken off the walls. Did you paint it this color or was it the previous homeowners? Uh, previous, previous homeowners. homeowners. Okay, yeah. so you're ready for probably a new color yes. in yep. this space. <laughs> So tell me what you like about the space and what you dislike about the space. Oh, I guess what we really like about here is that it's really like soundproof. It's mm -hmm. perfect for watching TV. I like that there's no windows, so it's it's gonna be dark. I don't yeah. have to worry about glare. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I think it's gonna be great for that for a movie space. So we talked about color, changing that out. I think we need to get something on the walls to give it just a little bit more texture. How yeah. do you feel about that? I love it. I love it if she loves it. Also, I noticed <laughs> you have you have a ton of outlet covers and speaker jack covers. We might be able to take care of those as well in terms of getting them a little bit closer to the wall color. Okay, Okay. yeah. That'd be great. There's not a lot of furniture to clear out in here, but we gotta get it out quick because we have a lot to do. So, let's do it. Let's do All it. Right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>
found Flounder. Flounder was missing. So this room is really cool. It's actually very unique. It's wired for 7.1 surround sound. It's got these cool barn doors that close off the space, but it's pretty bare bones, pretty empty. They have one room that has a TV in it and couch. I think we can transform this space. The goal here is to make it look like a high-end screening room. We're gonna do that by putting some box molding on the wall and paint it into the wall color. It's gonna be a really rich, dark color. And of course, we're gonna be painting the ceiling. The color for this room is beautiful. It's Glidden Diamond Paint in the color Obligation. The walls are gonna be painted in eggshell for durability, and the ceiling's gonna be painted flat. We're also gonna to try to do a little DIY where we make a wall hanging out of fabric. That fabric hopefully will help reduce some of the sound reflections you get in a movie room. So the homeowners really want a movie theater feel, which is really fun, and I think we are gonna give them exactly that. We want this room to have a movie theater vibe, right? You walk into a movie theater, they have these panels on the wall. I wanna give it kind of the same feeling and we can do that pretty simply with trim. We're gonna put up something on the wall called box molding. It's a real thin trim. We're gonna put three boxes along the wall. I'm gonna teach you guys how to use a miter saw. Have you done it before? Nope. Nope, okay, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna put it up on the wall real fast with nail gun. All right. Let's cool. do it. There we go. All right, our box trim, we're gonna cut some Trim pieces here with 45 degree angles at the end. We're gonna use our miter saw. And I'm just gonna show you how we do it. We, we're gonna rotate the blade, lock it in place, and we're gonna make sure our fingers are clear. The line is lined up with the blade, and then make our cut. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Let's give it a try. Working with Philip is great. Uh, ourselves, we're not very creative, so when it comes to setting up the wall or setting up the room, we'd probably just go with a really basic wall design, but with Philip here, he's been able to show us different techniques and, and really how to make that wall stand out. And that was easy. Wasn't bad at all. No. You're ready to go. All right. We got, we got 23 more to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all right. do it. Let's do it. You painted a room before, haven't you? Yes. Did you use a nine inch roller to paint the walls? Yes. Okay. Today we're gonna to try something a little different. Okay. This is a 14 inch roller from Wooster. Okay. A little bit bigger, but still gonna be manageable on the wall. Yep. We're gonna be able to paint 55% faster. Oh, wow. Okay. You wanna give it a try? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so when we load our paint roller, we're gonna get a good amount of paint on it. We're really gonna work it in, right? We're gonna end until you see it really saturated. If it looks dry, it means we haven't loaded enough first. All right, give it a try. We're gonna load it a little bit more and then you can put it up on the wall. Okay. One thing Philip is teaching us is how to use the right tools so that can optimize our time. So for beginners like us, it just made things easy. Just a moment. Wow! When we're rolling, we don't wanna to get too far away from the area that we're finishing. So just kind of finish this area up, you know, to about there and then we'll move that way. Okay. Yeah, I can tell we're gonna get this done a lot faster. There's some painting tips and tricks that are helpful for any and every DIYer. Tip number one, if you prep using painter's tape, always remove it while it's still wet. Tip number two, it's always best practice to do the ceiling first if you're gonna be painting it. Also cut in that top edge before you do anything else. Tip number three, this may seem simple, but really you should just be painting one wall at a time. That allows you to paint the whole surface before any of the edges dry. It's gonna give you the most consistent finish. Tip number four, if you're going for a big drastic color change or if your walls are covered in stains, it's best practice to use a primer first. Of course, you should always let that primer dry completely before you apply the top coat. And lastly, make sure the paint is fully dry before you bring the furniture back in. You can find that dry time on the back of the can. Y'all doing a great job over here. Thank you. Thank you. We got the furniture out. We put trim up on the walls. Y'all yes. been painting. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take us longer, the three of us, than I'd like to finish this job. So I actually have a crew outside. A bunch of guys come in and finish this today. Really? Today? Next today. Oh my gosh, thank you. All right, the next time you see this room, it's gonna be done. Get, oh. on, get on out of here. Okay, All right. awesome. Thank you. Thank you.
We painted pretty much everything in this room, all the way down to the moldings. We even took the wall plates off to paint those as well. I didn't talk with Brian and Carolina about painting the ceiling. I think they're gonna be surprised, but I think they're gonna love it. The decor plan for this room is gonna make it feel just like a movie theater. What would a movie theater be without reclining seats? We're gonna bring in two sets of recliners that have three seats each, and they're gonna be in rows. We're also gonna have a little table off to the side when they have additional company, a place to have snacks. I guess it's time. Let's show them the room. All right, y'all, come and check out your new movie room. Oh my wow. God. <laughs> Blair, look at that. Oh my, oh my rainbows. Oh my rainbows. <laughs> oh my rainbows. <laughs> it's a little bit different than it was before, isn't it's it? It's a little different. This is amazing. <laughs> This is awesome. I don't think I could have loved their reaction anymore. I mean, it was absolutely over the top. I love Blair. She is so animated and always excited. What do you think about the ceiling being painted? I love it. Oh my gosh, I just really, really like how it completely changed the room. It looks like a movie theater. I try not to overlook any detail. I even painted the outlet colors into the room color and the vents as well. It looks right. amazing. We also custom made these pieces to hopefully catch some of the extra sound from bouncing around the room. You did? Yeah, I made it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and sit on it. <laughs> I, I was telling her, I was like, I really hope we get the tiered seats and, and Phil delivered exactly on uh, what we were hoping to have in there. More than what we're expecting. Yes. We also decided to add this piece back here. Uh -huh. If you have company over, you could set up a, you could set up a bar. That's awesome. And yeah. potentially even put a couple stools if you had a lot of people over. Yeah, cool. All right, who's ready for family movie night? Me! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head out, let you guys enjoy your new space. Thank All you, right, thank, you thank you so much. This is one dream room in a day that I'm gonna be dreaming about for a while. Thank, thank you, you Philip.